Hey guys, you're here, back with another video, and today's video is going to be a tutorial for Cancol or Canta Collection, the game where you can collect all the ship waifus you want, and marry only one. Actually, maybe two. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this video is kind of an updated version of that previous one I made two years ago. It helped a lot of people, but it became obsolete because the lottery was just eliminated, and now, you know, some people don't know Japanese, and it's just weird, and, you know, I've done it again. Just so you guys understand how it goes, it should be quick and easy, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is make a DMM account. You go to dmm.com, right there. Uh, if you are going to be doing an English account, you will need to use a proxy and also change your language to Japanese once you're finished. So, you're here, let's click login, not click, hold, hover over the login, click user registration. And here it will show my previous account since, you know, I use it here. Oh look, quick and easy registration. Look at that, see, it even says right there. So let's change that up to my other email I will use for this uh, tutorial. Oh, no. I have a preferred uh, password. And I do not want to receive any emails. And then you send your certification to your registration email, just like any other website would have. You click that. After that, it'll redirect you saying, hey, now you should check your email account. Come on, you can do it. There you go. So, whatever your email of choice, you log into that, find the email. It should be labeled, let's see here. Yeah, it should be labeled DMM, DMM and then a whole bunch of symbols because it doesn't use the regular ASCII. It uses their own um, system for Japanese and Chinese symbols. Now that you've registered your account, it'll just redirect you to the DMM website. Now, two things you need to do definitely at this point. You want to click this. This is the Japanese website. Click on that. And you got a Japanese website. Then you go down to your bottom right corner if that's where your time is. Uh, right click, adjust date and time on Windows 10. I'm not sure what it would be on uh, Windows 7 or 8. It should be pretty similar though. And then you want to go down and select plus 9 Osaka uh, time. Let's see, plus 8. No, I went way past it. Osaka, Sapporo, Tokyo time. Then, it'll be like in the morning for them, early morning, depending on what time it is for you. For me, it's 4, 4 a.m. in the morning Japan. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so then you've done that. Now, this will be where we start our proxy method. This method uses cookies, so you want to right-click on the DMM page, and this is for Google Chrome. I'm not sure how it is to get to the console here for Firefox or Internet Explorer. Or in Explorer, Edge, or maybe an Opera, I don't know. I don't know Opera either. <laughs> uh, but uh, inspect, and then get this page here. Go to the console, and I'll leave this in the description. There's going to be a uh, link to, the link, a code that will give you cookies so that the game thinks you're in Japan. Go to console here, and then, oh, yes, okay, and go, boop, control V, it should be right, yep. No, I'm missing a colon, I'm missing a semicolon. Semicolons are very important. Anyways, do that, click enter, and it should now think you're in Japan. Now what you can do is directly go to the actual game website. I'll leave a link in the description. Make it be much easier for you than trying to go around here. I'll go here, paste, that is right there. If you feel like typing it, well, it, it did, oh, whoopsies. I'll paste it again, just in case, paste. Uh, it went, I think it maybe just hit uh, paste and go, but yeah, paste, there you are. And you'll be greeted with this, the Ken Cole site here, and the wonderful waifus you may be able to choose from. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm not sure what these two are, uh, but then you just click the big red button here to start your registration for the actual game. Here, you can choose your username. Uh, of course, I'll go with zero. Oh boy, it's available for me. Pick if you're male or female, uh, whatever you identify as, one of those two. Uh, go to my birth year and month and then day. Click that yellow button to finish registration, step two. This is just to confirm all your information, make sure that yes, it's uh, you know your birth year. I'm not sure what this is. Your, I don't know what that. Maybe you agree to terms and conditions. Your male, female, and your username. Like this to finally finish up. And boom! It should be loading up. Come on, I believe in you. There we go. That is it. So, this is where you start to choose your server and you can start playing. Well, for me, I'm going to stop here because I want to do a second video so that I can walk through the whole tutorial process with you guys. 
but uh, one thing to mention here, some issues that you may run into with this whole tutorial, is that you might actually see all these servers are full. Now in this case, there is one here, there's over here, it's not full yet, right? But they will stop registrations if they're too full. But that just means just come back from another time and make sure that the servers aren't full. I'm sure they work problems out all the time. Uh, even the wiki says, you know, every week they'll try to solve problems about pillar capacity, which is kind of funny since this game doesn't make them much money. <laughs> right, and for any other proxy methods, uh, check the wiki link in the description below. I'll leave that for you guys so you know what you're doing. Uh, another thing you might want to know about the proxy method I used, it will not work for a lot, uh, not a lot, but for some Chinese internet providers, don't allow that to work. So that again is a warning to any Chinese users out there, maybe from Hong Kong, I don't know if you use those. Uh, well, I mean, sometimes Hong Kong people don't like Chinese mainland, but I, I digress. And uh, one more thing, if you get something called the B001 error, you'll clearly see what it is, we'll say that. Uh, you wanna try clearing your cache. So the way you do it, uh, in Google Chrome at least, you go to your settings here. You scroll down, oh wow, it changed. Oh wow, I didn't notice it changed. No, Google updated recently. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go to advanced. You go to, let's see, privacy and security, it should be down here somewhere. Uh, clear browsing data. And then make sure you uncheck, well, if you want to keep cookies, obviously you want to keep that uh, for playing Cancool. And then click cache images and files. That's if you want to do, and then hit clear browsing data. And that is it for my tutorial. There you go. Now, if you have any other problems, you can check the troubleshooting page on the Canfield Wiki. Again, link down in the description below. And if you have any questions for me, you can leave the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, if it was very helpful to you. Thumbs down if I don't know why it didn't help you. But if it doesn't help you, again, leave a comment down below. I will help you out if I can. Uh, and look forward to the next tutorial where I walk through the first few things you'll be doing in Cantai Collection.